Right now at 6, we're now learning two tornadoes hit North Texas last night. The National Weather Service confirms an EF1 twister in Louisville and an EF0 along the Keller Watauga border in North Tarrant County. Everything was kind of over in about 15, 20 seconds. It lasted only seconds, but in Rockwall, the damage is going to be around for quite a while. Take a good look here. Straight line winds reducing roofs and walls of homes to nothing more than rubble. One man even thrown from his bedroom down onto his lawn. Live picture now we'll share with you. Chopper 11 hovering over some of the worst damage here in Rockwall. We've got a row of destruction in this neighborhood. Yet the homes right across the street, as we see sometimes, Kaylee, largely untouched. Thank you so much for joining us at 6 o'clock. I'm Doug Dunbar. And I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. Tonight, the long process of cleaning up begins. Team coverage now with CBS 11's Brooke Rogers, Robbie Owens, and our chief meteorologist, Scott Padgett. Let's begin with Brooke in Rockwall. Nobody is allowed inside these four houses. That red dot you see there means they're essentially condemned. One man was injured when he was tossed from his second floor bedroom onto his front lawn. But everyone here has a story of survival. Well, one of them was with us. Ten-year-old Dylan Clemens says a clear head helped save him and his mother when their house blew apart in the middle of the night. We'd probably, me and my mom would probably be crushed right now if I didn't stay calm. They were asleep in his bedroom when they heard a loud clap and saw the sky above them. They ran for a closet. That I thought was the best place to be, but it, it wasn't. Once I got in there, the, the roof was gone because of the closet. They and their dogs managed to escape unharmed, but morning revealed the extent of the devastation. Around 20 homes in this Rockwall neighborhood were damaged, four destroyed. Meteorologist Mark Fox with the National Weather Service assessed the damage. This is the equivalent damage of an EF1 tornado in a thunderstorm. Dylan says he knew from watching movies they needed to duck, cover, and run. Oh, I had to get out of there, so I had no other choice but to leave everything I have. Everything, that is, until his mom spotted a cherished possession, a jacket belonging to her late father, a Dallas County constable. An officer retrieved it, bringing a little light to a dark day. I'm just thankful to have this, this part so quickly reunited. And that one man who was injured did need several dozen stitches in his ear, but is expected to be released from the hospital tonight. Also tonight, police officers will patrol this entire perimeter around the clock to protect it from thieves. In Rockwall, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.